सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर इलेवन डायट फॉर हेल्दी लिविंग इलेवन पॉइंट फाइव योगिक डायट आयुर्वेद एडवाइज अ सात्विक डायट विच इज अ वेजिटेरियन डायट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ नैचुरल फूड आइटम्स अकॉर्डिंग टू योगिक डायटेटिक्स Natural food items are easy to digest and assimilate. Yogic diet is a combination of raw food and proper fasting routine. Good raw food such as cucumber, radish, carrots, tomatoes, sprouts together with spices like ginger, cayenne, cinnamon and basil provide energy to the mind and the body. Taking a regular yogic diet and performing asan, pranayam and meditation contribute to the well-being of our body and mind for preparation of yogic foods steaming is considered to be the best method 11.6 malnutrition it is now clear that a balanced diet is very important for a healthy life an imbalance between the body's nutritional needs and the intake of nutrients leads to malnutrition commonly malnutrition is considered in terms of hunger whereas both undernutrition and overnutrition are forms of malnutrition box 11.2 this reads ayurved suggests the following items in a wholesome diet rice millet wheat green gram coriander vegetable grapes mangoes dates cow's milk turmeric haldi cumin jeera do not fill your stomach with extra food eat food at regular intervals page number 172 to start with malnutrition has been explained there are two types of malnutrition a undernutrition specific deficiency b overnutrition overweight and obesity box 11.3 it reads nutritional imbalance resulting from inadequate intake of nutrients is referred to as undernutrition 11.6.1 types of malnutrition 11.6.1.1 undernutrition it does not occur in a single day's food intake deficiency caused by undernutrition affects us after long term of negligence an undernourished child cannot grow fully physically and mentally in most of the developing countries undernutrition is a threat to public health as it leads to illness and even death in addition to inadequate intake of nutrients undernutrition is also the result of malabsorption of food addiction to drugs or loss of nutrients from body due to various medical reasons undernutrition may lead to deficiency diseases like protein deficiency diseases which include kwashiorkor marasmus mineral deficiency diseases like goiter anemia and vitamin deficiency diseases like scurvy beriberi and rickets ignorance lack of education and poverty led by relatively high food prices natural disasters causing insufficient agricultural productivity and unhealthy dietary practices are some important common causes of undernutrition undernutrition continues to be a significant health problem for children and adults in india figure 11.6 undernutrition children in this figure we have two images in the first image we can see an african child totally emaciated we can see his rib cage clearly he is totally undernourished he is totally malnourished the second image shows an african child who is suffering from kwashiorkor his body seems to be normal it's just that his belly is bulging out this is a typical symptom of kwashiorkor this is a serious disease caused by eating too little protein it's mainly found in children in part of tropical africa page number 173 The National Family Health Survey 3 NFHS reported that 
in our country the prevalence of undernutrition is high among children at present 40% children of less than 5 years of age in our country are underweight for the management of undernutrition improvement in nutritional status is required the government of india provides midday meals to the students of up to elementary stage during school hours many myths and taboos about diet are also responsible for undernutrition in our country due to ignorance and illiteracy locally available nutritious food is not eaten in case of newborn babies inadequate breastfeeding is a major cause of undernutrition in fact exclusive breastfeeding during the first 6 months of life is very important now time for some activity activity 11.6 conduct a survey in your family and the neighborhood to find out facts regarding the following number 1 how many malnourished children are there number 2 what are the reasons of malnourishment of those children 11.6.1.2 overnutrition overnutrition is also a form of malnutrition that results from overeating and excessive intake of specific nutrients like carbohydrate and fat inadequate exercise and overeating are the major causes of overweight due to intake of excessive food adipose tissue increases abnormally in the body that enlarges or the number of fat cells increase leading to obesity we find obese persons bulky and overweight because of the accumulation of fat in the body people who eat more need to burn more calories otherwise surplus calories are stored as fat in modern societies obesity has become an epidemic it occurs in both developed and developing countries and affects children as well as adults in addition to overeating and inactivity the major reasons of overweight and obesity are sedentary lifestyle emotional problems and physiological disturbances including genetic factors metabolic and digestive disorders take place due to overconsumption of fats fast foods soft drinks and refined white flour carbohydrates combined with low fiber intake overweight and obese children and adolescents frequently grow to become obese adults obesity tends to run in families suggesting a genetic link too as families share common dietary and physical activity patterns attitude lifestyle and habits which contribute to obesity planning for balanced diet and regular exercise is of utmost importance to prevent overweight and obesity figure 11.7 overnutrition in this figure we have an image of a small child who is obese we can see his belly bulging out he is holding on to two ice creams which clearly shows he is fond of eating and this is a result of is overeating that he has become obese box 11.4 obesity overweight and obesity are not the same obesity is a health condition in which excess body fat accumulates to the extent that it may have an adverse effect on health and reduce life expectancy when body fat content exceeds 25% for men or 30% for women of the total body weight a person is called obese calculating bmi is given in chapter 4 page number 174 11.6.2 assessing the bmi body mass index bmi is an index of weight for height that is commonly used to classify adults as underweight overweight and obese It is obtained by dividing the weight in kilograms by the square of the height in meters kilogram per meter square for example an adult who weighs 70 kg and whose height is 1.75 meter will have a bmi of 22.9 table 11.7 bmi chart it has two columns the first one is bmi and the second is category now to start with greater than 18 kg per meter square greater than 18 kg per meter square underweight 
18 to 23 kg per meter square ideal body weight 23 to 25 kg per meter square overweight greater than 25 kg per meter square obese source national program for prevention and control of cancer diabetes cardiovascular diseases and stroke a guide for health worker directorate general of health services mohfw goi 2011 11.7 eating disorders eating disorders are severe disturbances in eating behavior commonly seen among adolescents between ages 14 to 18 years disordered eating patterns are either characterized by refusal of food to maintain the body weight or recurring binge eating followed by vomiting the former restrictive type disorder is known as anorexia nervosa and the latter bulimia nervosa most people do not seek help for eating disorders some may not even be aware that they have a problem 11.7.1 anorexia nervosa an refusal to eat food anorexia nervosa is a psychological disorder caused by undernutrition people with such disorder become thin and lose a lot of weight an obsessive fear of gaining weight occurs in such cases anorexia nervosa is an attempt to use food and weight to deal with emotional problems physical changes peer pressure and stress it is a serious mental illness with a high incidence of morbidity and mortality extreme fasting indulging in over exercise dieting may result in anorexia nervosa teenage girls and young women are more likely to develop this disorder however this disorder can occur during adulthood too 11.7.2 bulimia nervosa recurrent binge eating bulimia nervosa is an eating disorder characterized by recurrent binge eating followed by compensatory behavior the most commonly observed behaviors include defensive vomiting sometimes called purging fasting using laxatives and over exercising figure 11.8 anorexia nervosa in this figure we have an image of a girl who's very thin she's so thin that her body looks like a skeleton box 11.5 Anorexia nervosa results from refusal to eat or lack of appetite or disliking food leading to starvation to maintain a body image. Page number 175. The onset of bulimia nervosa is generally observed during mid to late adolescence. It is 20 times more common in females. Bulimia nervosa is rarely seen in those under 14 years. It has also been observed that there is higher incidence of major depressive disorder in close relatives of patients with bulimia nervosa. The common causes of the disorder are family problems, inability to adjust in society, lack of self-identity, conflict, problem with body image, depression and other psychological problems. The person tries to express emotions that are otherwise difficult becomes extremely engaged with emotions and is so tied up with the relationship with food and weight that it becomes difficult for him or her to deal with it health problems caused by both the above conditions include a tooth decay toothaches swollen gums gum disease gingivitis and erosion of tooth enamel which are caused by acid in the mouth due to vomiting b osteoporosis c abnormal heartbeat d dehydration which can lead to weakness fainting e fainting due to low blood pressure f low body temperature g suicide risks when a person feels discouraged due to presence of one of the conditions or has ongoing body image issues Anorexia and bulimia can lead to delay in the onset of menstruation in girls. There is a need to focus on fitness rather than on weight reduction. Sitting in front of TV or computer for long hours, eating junk food or having high calorie drinks add to obesity.
it is seen not only in the affluent section but also in urban poor. Since obesity is more of a lifestyle disease, it needs intervention at the level of the person himself or herself and at the level of the entire family, school and the community. Proper eating habits, diet and exercise are the essential requirements for physical fitness and management of weight. Page number 176 Assessment Answer the following questions. Question number 1. Define the terms nutrition and nutrients. Question number 2. List the various constituents of food and mention their function in the body. Question number 3. Why is it important to recommend special diet for pregnant and lactating women and sportspersons? Question number 4. Why is water considered a necessary constituent of the diet? Question number 5. List the nutritional disorders and state one characteristic of each. Fill in the blanks. Number 1. Vitamin A is a option dash soluble vitamin. Number 2. Vitamin C is a dash soluble vitamin. Number 3. Dash diet contains adequate proportions of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals and vitamins. Number 4. Yogic diet consists of natural dash items. Number 5. BMI can be assessed by dash Tick mark either yes or no. Number 1. Water is a nutrient which makes up almost 70% body weight. Number 2. One should consume 6 to 8 glasses of water every day. Number 3. Overnutrition leads to obesity. Number 4. Wheat and vegetables are the source of vitamin E. Number 5. Milk and milk products are the source of calcium. Project How do bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa pose serious health issues for adolescents? Prepare a chart on the benefits of locally available food or balanced diet. How do you think media influences the eating habits of young people? Create an advertisement for selling healthy food and suggest how you can build awareness on healthy eating habits among your peers. You were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Neeraj Yado. Technical Coordinator, Bati Langlingdo. Sound Recordist, Mayank Kumar. Assistance in Production, Ruchi Sharma. Directed and produced by Vimilesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.